Hello guys, this is Paris KCD and today we are going to make something like this. In this tutorial you will learn how to make this gothic and symbolic photo manipulation and as at the time of recording it was Halloween so it's a Halloween special design. You can see carefully how the light passes through this area and uh, everything is dark up you can see how with the help of light we have blended every image in this design even the hair you can see carefully it is designed this way to blend with the background so let's start with it these are some of the stock images we will be using them for making our design these are some sparks and this is the model so first we will create a new document and we are keeping the width of the file about 1200 pixels and the height about 1600 pixels something around that. and now we are going to place the creepy door onto it resize it now we are going to add an adjustment layer on this background image and we are going to add an exposure to make the background darker see the image is taking on a daytime which makes the whole image lighter we have to make it darker so we are going to reduce the exposure around 4.50 in minus then I want to reduce the lightness of the image a bit more so we are going to add a brightness and contrast we are going to increase the contrast for about 86 and the brightness around 5 now we are going to add the model resize it like so and now you have to remove the background in the previous tutorials I have explained you how to do so so we are going to skip this part so the model layer looks something like this I'm going to call it as model and I'm going to call the creepy door as the background now we're going to create a new layer and add a clipping mask onto it by pressing and holding the alt button from your keyboard just click in between the layer 1 and model and let's rename the layer 1 as soft light for model now we are going to use the brush tool and we are going to use an orange color something around that okay and we are going to put the opacity around 50 percent and now we just have to draw over it gently we have to draw lights onto the model and carefully so it looks something like that now we have to add a new layer and again click on clipping mask and we are going to call it neutral lights for the model now this neutral light will be a bit blueish something around that again it will be 50 percent you can decrease the brush size or de increase it according to your taste and we are going to brush it like that so it looks something like this now control J 
here something like that now just click all the lights for the model and decrease its opacity around 70 percent now what we are going to do is add an adjustment layer for the model so that she can be blended with the background so we are going to start with an exposure and add a clipping mask with this item or you can do just tap the alt button from your keyboard and between the neutral lights and exposure you can also do it now we are going to decrease the exposure by minus 3.04 she is already blending with the background that's more like it now we are going to add some shadows on here so just make a new layer I'm going to call it shadows remember the shadows should be below the model layer now we are going to take uh, dark gray color and we are going to use the brush tool and paint it um, like that it's optional but you what you can do is go to filter blur and apply Gaussian blur now create another layer and call it shadows 1 and we are going to use a dark bluish and grayish color and we are going to paint like a triangle so it will go we have to reduce the size we paint it from here to here and then we are going to use multiply and tap on enter so the shadows look like this with the shadows without it the shadows without it now we are going to add an adjustment layer because night isn't ready yet you should add night colors to your image to create this effect add an adjustment layer with color balance so we are going to use the color balance option and we are going to increase the uh, blues to around 40 now we are going to create a new layer and paint it on you know orange color something around that start painting should go something around here now the problem is it should glow it shouldn't be something solid so to fix it we go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and we increase its size to around 46.7 pixels click on ok and we press the blending options and go to soft light and uh, now we create a new layer and we are going to make an effect like uh, the lights are coming from the edges of the door so to do that i'm going to use the pen tool and then i'm going to fill it with some light yellow color something around that now click on control enter and alt backspace so you have filled so it looks something like this now what we have to do is go to effects panel and add it out of glow now it should be 100% the opacity change the 
outer glow color to um, orangish color and the code for it will be 5 ff 5 a 0 and make the spread around 6% and the size around 8 pixels and range will be 50% now click on the layer and copy it like that and reduce the fill so that it becomes completely transparent but still the effects can be seen and now add a blur effect onto it around 4.7 pixels so it looks something like this now create a new layer and the brush tool and around one pixel in the color again some oranges type color zoom in and draw into the branches and reduce the opacity and add a Gaussian blur onto it so it looks something like this now light also goes on the doors and columns at the left side you should mark it I'm just going to call it the branches light layer create a new layer I'm going to call it the door lights I guess the color is quite okay now just draw around here something like that so it looks something like this now just use the mask tool take a brush and erase the unwanted parts so the edges should look softer in the image reduce the opacity for this one like that now create again a new layer and this time follow the lights on the draw in the door and the columns take a small brush like this and just go on painting like this now make sure we you add some sparks because fire makes sparks so we add sparks around here I've already made it for you I'm going to link all these sparks images in the description down below so you can download it and click enter so it looks something like this now we are going to make some hair uh, lights on hair I'm going to call it lights on hair and we are just going to make one pixel and draw hair should be a little like this and it should follow something like this and on this side I'm going to paint a neutral color a 
around here. To follow the guidelines I made you before. So it looks something like this. So it looks something like this. You just have to paint it to blend it with the background. Here we have some neutral light coming and here we have the orange light coming in. So this part will be orangish and this part will be with neutral light and this is how you have to do it. And draw some parts over here as well. And that's of course according to your imagination. So now we are going to use this crack image and place it over here and uh, we are going to put it on her skin so it looks like her skin is fractured and a dragon is coming out from her skin so to do this we are going to use the warp tool first and going to accept it we are going to rotate it around here then we have to warp it we have to warp it around here so it looks something like this and I have used a bit of masking in these areas now I'm going to use blending mode and use multiply so it looks something like this I'm going to add an adjustment layer above it and decrease its saturation to minus 100%. To make it more dramatic, I'm going to use a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and I'm going to keep the brightness around minus 38 but the contrast around 100 now we want to blend the crack with the skin so how will we doing this to do that we are going to use another um, brightness and contrast use the clipping mask you use the contrast to around 100% and increase the brightness around here see if you you can see as you increase the brightness uh, it blends with the background so we are going to keep it around 71% so it looks something like this now I want to erase some more parts of the of the crack because you can see the edges so it looks something like this now we are going to add a dragon stock so we go to here dragon back we go to the dragon packs we're going to use this one we are going to resize it around here and place it around here so it seems like the dragon is coming from the crack that's how we need it to now we have to mask the unwanted parts to do that we are going to use the mask tool and we are going to erase it keep the opacity 100% and erase the unwanted parts now add a new adjustment layer on, on the dragon and keep the hue around plus 180 so that it looks like the neutral lights have come to the dragon now we duplicate the little dragon by control j and we are going to de delete the delete the mask and we are going to place it over here so now we have to show that this part this portion of the image is like a tattoo and this dragon is coming alive by making a crack onto her skin so we go to filter and go to filter gallery we use poster edges we 
I'm going to keep the edge thickness around 0, edge intensity around 1 and posterization around 6. We're going to click on OK. So you can see it looks something like this. Now we are going to keep the blending mode of multiply. We are going to add a new layer mask and this time we are going to erase this portion of the image. Now we are going to add a new adjustment layer above it. You click on the clipping mask and keep the saturation around minus 100 and like we did with the crack we have to blend the tattoo with the skin so make another clipping mask and increase the brightness around 150 and the contrast around minus 50 again we make a new brightness and contrast this time we are going to again use the clipping mask we are making no changes to the contrast but this time I'm going to use the brightness around 84 so right now this looks like a tattoo and that's all we wanted now I'm going to draw some outlines onto the little dragon by making a new layer and we have to draw an outline of the dragon something so the dragon looks like this now use some shadows onto her skin below the little dragon right here and make some shadows I'm going to use a darker gray color and paint it over here. Like so. And decrease its opacity. And add a filter Gaussian blur. like so so she looks like this now we want to add more sparks again I'm going to place the already made sparks from my inventory so it looks something like this it looks cool Now we are going to add some branches like this one, rotate it and make it bigger and flip horizontally. You can also rotate it something like this. Place it over here. Now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and add a blur onto it. It should be around 3.8 pixels. Now again, we are going to add a new adjustment layer for the branch branches. We are going to keep the lightness around minus 99 don't forget to put the clipping mask and I'm going to add a brightness and contrast brightness I'm going to keep in minus 150 and contrast 100 now create a new layer we are going to add a clipping mask and use some colors a bit orange and 
some white colors like so and decrease the opacity to around 5% Now, control shift and all the layers till the branches and control E to merge them. So it looks something like this. And tap the V for the move tool and create more copies of these branches. So bring it around here. place it like so and a few this side like so so it looks something like this now we are going to add a gradient fill so just click on the adjustment icon over here and click on gradient and we are going to keep it something orangish okay I'm going to keep it radial 90 degrees so it looks something like this now keep the opacity around 20% and make it soft light so it looks something like this it adds some color on, and some light onto the background now we are going to add a new color balance adjustment layer I'm going to keep the blues around 3 for shadows for midtones I'm going to use a minus 10 for to make it a bit cyanish and plus 16 to make it lowish and for the highlights I'm going to make it reddish so plus 16 and uh, minus 26 to make it yellowish and uh, I'm going in the end going to add a new layer above the hair and uh, I'm going to make a new outline for the I'm going to make a new outline for the model so it should go through this and I'm going to make it overlay click on enter I'm going to call it outline light for model and create a new layer and do the same this side so it looks something like this reduce the opacity call it neutral light outline and another thing I want to add take again the orangish part reduce it to one pixel and next thing so yes reduce the opacity go to filter blur gaussian blur reduce the radius okay and do it over here as well for neutral colors create a new layer and create and again Keep the opacity around 
filter blur Gaussian blur okay so that's it we have made this beautiful Halloween special design Control shift s to save the image I'm going to call it born of the dragon 2 in this tutorial we learned the new very new things how to create light effects like that and uh, how to blend all the light effects and the model according to the requirements of the light uh, that's it so thanks for watching please give a thumbs up if you like what you saw if you didn't you know what to do and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. Thank you.